toe bounce around the world. With this one, we need to start practicing being able to bounce the ball off of our toe to keep the ball close to us. So the way we do it is you need ball rotation. When you do your kick ups, you need to make sure that you've got that rotation coming back towards your body. It's that spin what does help when you go for this trick. When you actually do the toe bounce, you need to have spin on the ball because it grips your foot and keeps the ball close. So what we do to practice it, we need to make sure that our foot gets grounded, your toe comes up inside it, you can hardly see it. If you look close, all you'll see is my foot's completely grounded, but my toe slightly comes up inside my boot. That little movement will help with this. The ball's then spinning, and we've got to play the ball, ground our foot, and try and get the ball to come up in that position there. So we throw the ball, set our foot into position, where it feels comfortable, and then try and get the toe bounce to stay nice and close to us. From the side, it's like that. At that point there, exactly the same as you would with around the world, at the moment of impact, as the ball connects with my foot, your other leg comes sharply around the ball, back into position, and then we keep the ball up. So your left leg never leaves the floor. Watching, like so. Watch again. Once we've done that and we're around the ball, we're looking to try and obviously keep the ball up. I'll show you the side angle first. So we play the ball, we plant the foot, my leg comes around the ball. And now we're looking to try and keep the ball up. It should look like this. I'll show you from the side. So now when we put it together with kick ups, we need to make sure we get that spin on the ball. And if you do so, that's it. Doing my kick ups, lots of spin on the ball toe bounce around the world and there we go and that is my guide to the toe bounce around the world.